100 best leadership quotes of all time. Every time you have to speak, you are auditioning for leadership. You are not here merely to make a living. You are here in order to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world, and you impoverish yourself if you forget the errand. A good leader leads the people from above them. A great leader leads the people from within them. Don't follow the crowd. Let the crowd follow you. We are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful about what we pretend to be. Leadership is the art of giving people a platform for spreading ideas that work. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He is the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. To add value to others, one must first value others. A true leader has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. He does not set out to be a leader, but becomes one by the equality of his actions and the integrity of his intent. The task of the leader is to get their people from where they are to where they have not been. Treat people as if they were what they ought to be, and you help them become what they are capable of being. I suppose leadership at one time meant muscles, but today it means getting along with people. There are no office hours for leaders. When people talk, listen completely. I can give you a six-word formula for success. Think things through, then follow through. One of the tests of leadership is the ability to recognize a problem before it becomes an emergency. The important thing is this, to be able to give up in any given moment all that we are for what we can become. The quality of a leader is reflected in the standards they set for themselves. you feel in your heart to be right, for you'll be criticized anyway. I cannot give you the formula for success, but I can give you the formula for failure, which is, try to please everybody. True leadership lies in guiding others to success, in ensuring that everyone is performing at their best doing the work they are pledged to do, and doing it well. Becoming a leader is synonymous with becoming yourself. It is precisely that simple, and it is also that difficult. Wisdom is knowing what to do next. Skill is knowing how to do it, and virtue is doing it. Control is not leadership. Management is not leadership. Leadership is leadership. If you seek to lead, invest at least 50% of your time in leading yourself, your own purpose, ethics, principles, motivation, conduct. Invest at least 20% leading those with authority over you and 15% leading your peers. Leaders don't inflict pain. They share pain. Wise leaders generally have wise counselors because it takes a wise person themselves to distinguish them. The growth and development of people is the highest calling of leadership. Management is doing things right. Leaders
ship is doing the right thing. The wrong thing to do about any given circumstance or situation is to do nothing. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. There exist limitless opportunities in every industry. Where there is an open mind, there will always be a frontier. A leader is a person you will follow to a place you would not go by yourself. A good leader takes a little more than his share of the blame, a little less than his share of the credit. Effective leadership is not about making speeches or being liked. Leadership is defined by results, not attributes. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Leaders think and talk about the solutions. Followers think and talk about the problems. In all great leaders, there is a purpose and intensity which is unmistakable. The things we fear most in organizations, fluctuations, disturbances, imbalances, are the primary sources of creativity. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. A leader takes people where they want to go. A great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go, but ought to be. The art of leadership is saying no, not saying yes. It is very easy to say yes. The price of greatness is responsibility. A genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, concerned citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. The highest of distinctions is service to others. If you're not sure where you are going, you're liable to end up someplace else. Anyone can hold the helm when the sea is calm. Become the kind of leader that people would follow voluntarily, even if you had no title or position. You manage things. You lead people. A great person attracts great people and knows how to hold them together. Leadership is not about titles, positions, or flowcharts. It is about one life influencing another. Before you are a leader, success is all about growing yourself. When you become a leader, success is all about growing others. Leadership is lifting a person's vision to high sights. The raising of a person's performance to a higher standard. The building of a personality beyond its normal limitations. People buy into the leader before they buy into the vision. Doing what is right isn't the problem. It is knowing what is right. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Keep your fears to yourself. 
but share your courage with others. There are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. The mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher inspires. Leaders aren't born, they are made. And they are made just like anything else through hard work. And that's the price we'll have to pay to achieve that goal. Or any goal. No man will make a great leader who wants to do it all himself, or to get all the credit for doing it. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. You take people as far as they will go, not as far as you would like them to go. Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. The role of leadership is to transform the complex situation into small pieces and prioritize them. Real leadership is leaders recognizing that they serve the people that they lead. Average leaders raise the bar on themselves. Good leaders raise the bar for others. Great leaders inspire others to raise their own bar. To do great things is difficult, but to command great things is more difficult. 90% of leadership is the ability to communicate something people want. Effective leadership is putting first things first. Effective management is discipline, carrying it out. All of the great leaders have had one characteristic in common. It was the willingness to confront unequivocally the major anxiety of their people in their time. This, and not much else, is the essence of leadership. The task of leadership is not to put greatness into humanity, but to elicit it, for the greatness is already there. Leadership is the art of getting someone else to do something you want done because he wants to do it. Great leaders are almost always great simplifiers, who can cut through argument, debate, and doubt to offer a solution everybody can understand. A leader is not an administrator who loves to run others, but someone who carries water for his people so that they can get on with their jobs. Leadership cannot really be taught. It can only be learned. Look over your shoulder now and then to be sure someone's following you. Leadership is not magnetic personality that can just as well be a glib tongue. It is not making friends and influencing people. That is flattery. Leadership is lifting a person's vision to higher sights, the raising of a person's performance to a higher standard, the building of a personality beyond its normal limitations. Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. Great leaders are not defined by the absence of weakness, but rather by the presence of clear strengths. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Leadership is unlocking people's potential to become better. The greatest leaders mobilize others by coalescing people around a shared vision. The supreme quality of leadership is integrity. The function of leadership is to produce more leaders, 
not more followers. Earn your leadership every day. Our chief want is someone who will inspire us to be what we know we could be. You cannot be a leader and ask other people to follow you unless you know how to follow too. Those who let things happen usually lose to those who make things happen. To handle yourself, use your head. To handle others, use your heart. Nearly all men can stand adversity. But if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Leadership is an ever-evolving position. The challenge of leadership is to be strong but not rude, be kind but not weak, be bold but not bully, be thoughtful but not lazy, be humble but not timid, be proud but not arrogant, have humor but without folly. Leadership is an action, not a position. Don't tell people how to do things. Tell them what to do and let them surprise you with their results. Whatever you are, be a good one. A leader is one who sees more than others see, who sees farther than others see, and who sees before others see. People ask the difference between a leader and a boss. The leader leads, and the boss drives.